do you know the structure of tribes um, or the Bedouin society? Um, they have a huge gates of the, the, their houses and always they are separated from the, the, um, the, the other uh, part of the society, like the Egyptian and the other part of the village with high walls and trees and gates. This is the uh, um, structure of the society. It's very isolated. So I used to climb trees and gates and I was so curious about what is happening there and because the uh, um, segregation between female and male I was always spy on male uh, uh, companion to my brothers and stuff like that and they always been separated but I wanted to be part of the public most of the time and I want to be out. At that time, I was thinking, I want to be something different. I want to be educated. Layla Abu Lord, she wrote a, a book about uh, the tradition and oral poetry that my grandma and old uh, ladies uh, used to recite. And why this lady is really uh, fascinated with this kind of poetry, it's very easy to recite. Or to, it's oral poetry, actually. So I start to feel like what I have, nobody have it like me. And I have a tradition and I have this long old memories of old grandma. So I started to think about to be a professor and to be a writer. And I felt like uh, I, I want to uh, do the same, go and document every single thing around me and maybe um, people around the world will find something useful or something interesting about who I am and who, what I'm doing in my life. <laughs> سمكة أسد لغرفتها دائما رائحة شمع معطر تجلس وحيدة تفتل بعض الحبال أو ترتق الثقوب ثوب قديم ملابسها مترزة بأسود وأسماك وعرائس في حجرها تحبو هند بعد أن زحفت خلف أمها نصف النهار Female writers from Bedouin, I, I don't think there is any because the critics used to introduce me as the first female writer in Arab, uh, in, in Egypt at least. And that's because of the tradition in Bedouin society. I mean, partly, um, it's very shameful to give your name, your own name to anyone. You have to say, I'm the daughter of, um, the sister of, so you don't really, it's not something acceptable as a society. And it's not acceptable at all to put your name in a book. With the bint mean fil balad, yalli nshabak shalik. Ana khat shaykh al-Arab, yalli al-Amir khalik. We always have the, this, this oral poetry, which is really amazing. And I used to quote, um, put a quotation in the, um, the beginning of every chapter. Like of this oral, I try to connect it. And it's, it's, it's great. It's full of love. And it's very open. It's, in, it's, it's full of, um, yeah, this, this, this feeling of love. It's description of 
it, it's very emotional actually and because it's with a anonymous writer so it's more open and it's more even more daring than my writing i think that's part of the history of every female have lived because she have to express herself somehow even without names so especially in, in bedouin society most of them sometimes they, they they recite something about their own life but maybe i think i was the first female to um, to put it in writing and to publish and uh, yeah and it was not easy by the way <laughs> it was very difficult <laughs> it was very difficult it's, for me it's a source of passion it's a source of uh, daring so because there is another voices in that world it being um speak up before before me and that's for me is very important i mean there was always writing even if, if it's not written there is something being exist before me and something will be after me that's so yeah it's something support me somehow support my um my intention to be a writer <laughs>